broiler production, ammonia causes ammonia burns and respiratory problems in birds when it exceeds 25 parts per million in the barn. One study represented by this graph have also found that body weights of broilers decreased as ammonia concentrations increased. Not only is ammonia problematic for bird health, it also damages the environment through eutrophication and soil acidification. Among animal feeding operations, poultry production is the second largest contributor of ammonia emissions. Here, we introduce litter amendments, which are products used to reduce ammonia emissions by lowering the litter pH. This inhibits bacteria responsible for ammonia volatilization, which decreases ammonia production, and also favors the conversion of ammonia to ammonium, which increases ammonia removal. Alum is the most commonly used litter amendment, but its high cost of $660 per ton is not sustainable for producers. Alum and litter amendments, or AMLA, are a much cheaper alternative, produced at $450 per ton, and they reduce ammonia emissions by 73%, which is equally as effective as alum. To make the AMLA, wear the following personal protective equipment, or PPE, and follow these simple steps. AMLA is composed of 57% alum mud, 4% bauxite, and 39% sulfuric acid by weight, and applied to poultry litter at a rate of 5-10% to by weight of the litter. So for a typical broiler operation growing 6-week-old birds, this is equivalent to adding 0.1 to 0.2 pounds of AMLA per bird, or 1 to 2 tons of AMLA per flock of 20,000 birds. Now with that in mind, determine the mass of AMLA needed and under a chemical fume hood, weigh out the alum mud, bauxite, and sulfuric acid and mix these in a plastic tub using a Teflon spatula. Allow the mixture to dry for 4 days, then grind the friable solid into a powder and sieve it through a 20 mesh sieve. Now your AMLA is ready for application. The AMLA will be applied before the barn is preheated. Now wear the following PPE, head into your barn and start by ensuring the ammonia is cleared out by using the tunnel fans. Once the ammonia is cleared, turn off all tunnel fans and spread the AMLA onto the litter with a decaking machine or spreader and mix it into the top 1-3 to three centimeters of the litter. Now turn on one or two tunnel fans to establish minimum ventilation and continue on that for the preheating period. After chick placement, litter samples should be sent in weekly for laboratory testing for the ammonium nitrogen content in the litter, which should average at least 4.25 grams per kilogram of litter over a 6 week period. As well, ammonia levels must be monitored regularly to ensure it remains below 25 parts per million. If it exceeds that, immediately increase your ventilation rates.